Today, as we celebrate the fourth advent of joy, in this season, we have been on a continuous state of looking out towards our future and pondering what it might bring. It is in our search for joy in this season, I find myself reflecting on the anticipation of the birth of Jesus. Today's theme is, the world is about to turn. As I reviewed the worship help and began my preparations for today, I asked myself many questions such as, how do I celebrate joy? How does the theme of the world is about to turn apply to me? What thoughts does this bring to my mind for reflection? I am greatly aware of how the birth of the baby Jesus changed the world. So I shifted gears. How does the birth change us now? Often we draw parallels of then and now. So I considered that. Waiting. We are definitely waiting. I looked at Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38, today's scripture. In that scripture, we have Gabriel, and he has already visited Zacharias and left him speechless because he needed more convincing to believe the words he was given. Next, we find Gabriel goes to visit Mary, a teenager in the city of Nazareth. It was the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy. Luke 1, verse, Luke chapter 1, verse 28 of the inspired version. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou virgin, who art highly favored of the Lord. The Lord is with you. For thou art chosen and blessed among women. As I continued to read, I found that even Mary had her doubts. She too needed reassurance. Gabriel explained to her how things would work, and he sent her to see Elizabeth. There together, they could share their joy. Elizabeth had hidden her situation for five months. Gabriel visited Mary when Elizabeth was in her sixth month. When Mary arrived to see Elizabeth, the, mate, the baby in Elizabeth's belly jumped for joy at hearing Mary's voice. Elizabeth became a confirmation to Mary. Luke chapter one, verses 45 through 53 are Mary's reflection of this confirmation that Gabriel had announced. This is just the beginning of Mary's journey. In the nine months of pregnancy, there, were, there was turmoil because Herod was searching for them. There was traveling. There was society shaming them for not understanding what was happening. The Magnificat is a song written about Mary's confirmation. I listened to several different versions of this song. I really like the Gregorian chant version, yet it didn't move me to a place of joy. I can identify with Mary's place of servitude, her praise of God, and the history that she reflected upon. We know how the birth of Jesus changed the world, but how do we find that joy in this moment within ourselves? So I considered my thoughts as a woman in Mary's place, a servant of God, humbled and honored to do as she was called, saying, here am I without hesitation. I reflected on Christmas stories and movies I have seen over the years, how each one found me at a different stage of my seeking. When I was an expectant mother, I recall the joy of seeing my child for the first time. This joy is a very intimate word for this feeling. Let me say that one more time. Joy is a very intimate word for this feeling. It is an overflow that cannot be contained. There is fear resolved when you first put your eyes on your baby. The feelings move swiftly, turmoil into peace and peace into joy. Like I mentioned before, the Magnificat song did not bring me to a place of how I feel or see joy. Then a song came to me. A song that brings us before the baby, sets our eyes upon him, takes our doubts and resolves them, turns them into joy as he smiles upon us. 
that moment changes everything. For he sees you, he knows you by name, and he smiles upon you. Come rest in the newborn Christ.